Hi guys, I'm Exec Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital. We are playing the Emergency Master Hospital and we've got our basic clinic set up over here. Um, so without further ado, um, I'm going to, uh, for all of you, those of you that uh, hit the like button, I so appreciate it. Please do that again if you're enjoying the series. Um, um, I'm going to head straight into it so that we can actually start seeing our first patients. Um, at the same time, I will go ahead and run the other side as well, start... Um, start implementing the others do we need to oh my hospital now accepts patients um okay so that's fine so i'm assuming yeah there's a patient on the way over there okay so while that's going on i will just uh, allow that to just run in the background while we oh the game pauses while we're in construction mode okay so what we'll do is we will just put in a few bits and pieces so that we can get in the extra the extra one sorted out over here so i'm gonna grab a glass wall over there and a glass door right beside it and then we're gonna um, make sure that this is in fact a doctor's office open department lab okay now that's fine i'm just gonna grab a doctor's office over here so we'll get that extra doctor's office going on um, we'll come in here and we will start actually start by just putting in the office desk and all those kind of things i'm going to place the office desk over there with the doctor's chair right there the uh the stool for the patient over here and um and we'll get the pc and the printer and and those kind of things so pc over there printer right next to it right over there we then go ahead and <clears throat> start grabbing the other bits and pieces so the examination table will um, i think go in here somewhere we'll grab the lights that we need um, because we're going to need to um, get through these patients fairly quickly now we're going to go with the equipment cabinet if i can click it right over there the equipment cabinet will in fact have the odometer thingy on there we'll get an equipment table over on this side and we're going to grab the crp scan there that's good got all of the rest going for us so now we'll go ahead and grab some of this or oh, we need an eye test put the eye test right over there so we can actually see it ourselves we'll get the basic sink is what we've used um, right in the corner over here somewhere and we'll we'll get the uh, the biohazard thing right next to it over there perfect that's kind of gonna be gonna be what we needed um, we will place the little board in there and we'll see about adding a few bits and pieces like <clears throat> maybe a plant or a diploma or something. Can we in fact put the diploma behind the doctor? We cannot. Maybe something like that maybe. We don't need to access it. A diploma, we'll get a, a plant here next to that one. So there's a little bit going on there but it's not the greatest put a put a clock over there now is there anything else we need in here well we do need the flooring so we'll go ahead and get ourselves the nice hardwood flooring over there good stuff and i think that is sufficient so if we go out here now we can actually go ahead and hire ourselves yet another doctor anybody with advanced diagnostics available not at all at this stage so Kate is a resident and she's got diagnostics and acute medicine, general medicine, not too good, but she's pretty cheap and for now I think it's okay. Um, so let's just, um, I think let's just grab Kate for now. So we've got at least two doctors to start with straight away. So let's get back into the game mode. So two doctors, we've got someone that can kind of clean stuff up. So we'll speed things right along while we consider planning out the rest of it. So as I was mentioning, um, I think the idea is that, okay, good stuff, going out over there. Okay, our first patients are being treated. We need to treat one patient per day at the emergency department. I think we're going to be able to do that pretty quickly. So now our doctors are straight into it. The patients don't seem to sit on this chair at all. They're just going to stand there. Um, so maybe what we need to do is we need to move this these chairs a little bit. Uh, ooh, that chair is going to be problematic, though. But anyway, let's uh, let's 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 do that. I want to make sure that we're in fact um, having everything pretty useful in here. So if we say put that one right in the middle there, and we put this one right in the middle, 
kind of over here and maybe that's reasonable and people will actually sit there nope they still don't sit on the stools there's no clear diagnosis okay well let's have a look so the fact that we and maybe maybe it's because i've hired cheaper doctors that i now actually have to go ahead and check our symptoms ourselves oh so now there's an x-ray requirement straight away um and the doctor's not qualified to prefer to do the uh, direction uh, this this thing okay so what do we do with this patient now consider adding more diagnostic equipment laboratories radiology rooms the patient will leave soon okay so we're just gonna have to leave it there until that can happen physical examination didn't bring up anything um technology uh, te technologist unavailable so i just gonna click it do i click it oh i can't click it um so the, the patient just gonna say hangs out over there well that's not good is he, is he gonna hang out over there okay we've completed that we've got a ooh, twenty thousand grant which is, is exactly what we need in order to go ahead and build our our uh treatment for radiology i don't want to do radiology right over here though because this is going to kind of extend to become the nice big emergency department so i'd rather we um, extend our building envelope on this side get ourselves a bit of a foundation so got too wide i need at least one more for the corridor that's the idea okay and then i'm going to do an area here for uh, radiology and I I like that idea just like that just something like that so we'll go for the walls we'll get um, we'll get rid of the this wall in the first instance okay we'll grab our double uh, double line wall and we'll run it around there and but the radiology however will have a, a different external color uh, I mean internal color so external it will be the same pretty much like that we'll make sure to grab where is our external wall with the pattern right we had a pattern wall didn't we am I missing am I missing it is that the one no that's light wood panels I don't where's my what's going on is this did i did i change something here what is the the external wall with the pattern it was white with a pattern is that the only one can't possibly be let's uh let's quickly pull these that back up so we can see honestly or was it was it one of these ones white exterior with a base pattern of a different color i think that's what it is right yes okay so we fixed that so that's our external walls there and while we're at it let's get ourselves a nice decal over here um so we're going to go with this and we're going to do this nice pattern over there let's rotate it yes excellent um is there a emergency medical cross cross um which ones this is like the lab is there a er well i don't think that's just this one right yeah i like i like that that's fine i think that's going to be okay is that going to be okay is there any other things that we're looking for over here maybe oh maybe oh, on call room observation unit weird lots of stuff lots of stuff there's nothing else that we could really put on the external there uh that would make sense okay so that's just going to be that so there we go so the doc the hospital is starting to look a little bit better oh the other thing we should probably think of is maybe a few windows a windows with blinds or a tall window you know something like that We'll do, yeah, yeah, uh, ooh. we can't actually do it over there. So let's just do double window over there and we'll slowly start providing better windows as we go. Um, let's get a smaller, 
yeah let's go some smaller windows over here so we'll do a little bit of something like that so there's a little bit of um, stuff just happening but it's, it seems so dull out here okay we're not going to worry about that too much now let's get our walls going let's drop these walls so we can actually see so we're going to go with x-ray x-ray is going to be what something like this color maybe and then we'll do we'll do the line in the middle so something something like that for instance would work quite well um I am tempted to put the waiting, it obviously needs a waiting room. So X-ray, oops, let's go here. X-ray will need a waiting room and an X-ray room. And that's kind of what it's gonna be. Um, that's huge though for an X-ray. So we'll just go ahead and do seven by eight is not bad. Then we will go ahead and get our waiting room going. What? Oh, so it can't be. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll go back to the emergency department. We'll go with this um, reception and we'll trim. Can we, can we trim the reception? Can we click the reception and trim it? Oh, doesn't seem like we can. So can I, there's a, there must be a remove room. Okay, let's remove room. I understand. I understand. No problem. And then we'll add the reception back. But we're going to be a little sneaky and we're going to provide it just like that. So that's going to be the reception right over there. Then we're going to go over here, grab ourselves the waiting room. And I believe too wide for the waiting room there would be fine. Now, if we come back over here and we go to um, not the building, but the staff. Uh, we can say assign employee here. So Susan, please come and, come and work here instead than not having an, a place to work. Over there, we will put a little bit of flooring over here we're just going to go with the white floor right there um, and we are going to need this room will need a door <clears throat> i'm going to go with the double door hmm. i'm going to go with the double door towards the towards this side over here that's fine so it's uh, more close to the corridor than anything else then we will i'm thinking there's a they, they kind of do it pretty neatly in the um in the uh, in the game in which they uh, provide a little a little office space over there for for the for the for the uh, the technologist so we'll just get a shall we do it no we don't need an x-ray door we'll just put a kind of a, a door right over there and we'll grab ourselves some watch windows one two three watch windows over there we will click here and we will provide ourselves with um, let's get a, a glass office desk. Yeah, let's grab the glass office desk over there. We'll get a chair. Of what color? We'll get a white chair. Place it over there. And we will go ahead, get the x-ray up on that side. We'll get the x-ray controller thingy right here in the middle okay we'll get a obviously we'll get a bit of a PC going over there we need the x-ray machine itself and I'm thinking yeah absolutely that's quite nicely spaced there <clears throat> we'll need some equipment um, potentially like that and that seems to be about it really got the extra viewer uh, we don't necessarily need the stool or anything else like that control panel small card cabinet maybe um yeah let's do a little something like that so it's, there's something going on there we'll grab some of this stuff oh we'll get some files on over there it looks looks good we'll get um a clock there we'll get a flower on there so it's a at least a pretty nice environment we'll get see if we can get a mug on here somewhere nah no need for a mug we'll get some info boards up there and anything radiology related maybe Arter arteries liver skull heart post the tennis elbow veins it's what's a what's the what's a good one tennis elbow i don't think they would extra for a tennis elbow would they maybe 
Anyway, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste any more time on that. Let's get a floor in here. I think that's as sufficient as it is over here. Oh, what we could add is we could add what was this? A first aid kit. Actually, we probably need to add a first aid kit right over there. I like that. Okay, we can in fact grab a little bit of shelving over there yeah so there's a few books up there I like it that's pretty good and the other thing I wanted to do was get the um, get the antibacterial stuff wall mounted lamp not quite where's the where's like the antibacterial stuff really it's not it's not oh maybe in here instead come on that's that very basic antibacterial thingy sinks and stuff really nothing now these are these are only equipment pieces i must be missing it here are the sinks and dryers sink stop shelf it must be here i am missing it completely anyway i'm not gonna bother with it anymore then if it's not there it's not there Okay, it's fine. Just gonna leave it be. Um, so X-ray is where? It's on the door, isn't it? Ah, X-ray department, and that one will. Well, since it's red, I'll just do. I'll just do that. Say X-ray department right over there. We will grab ourselves a little bit of equipment seating wise. Um, it's all red over here, so we'll just do with uh, go with a couple of a couple of seats right over there for these guys to be waiting. That should be fine. We'll need a bit of a floor in here. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Um, what is this black floor, dark colored floor? Uh, let's go with a white floor that's not white. Um, so let's go. Actually, let's go with this. Actually, we're going with that kind of color, isn't it? So if we do something like that, and I'm thinking that section there could be wood wood floor, wooden floor. Nice. So now that should be working. Let's go over here. Game mode. Go over here. We are in need of a a person to work here during the day. We would like maybe Patricia, a senior scientist, is the what we've got here. maybe yeah i think i think maybe we'll get lisa to work over here so excellent radiology opens and we get an extra grant which is beautiful we're actually making more money from grants than anything else so now um that person who needs to ah go and get the lower limb x-ray go and get that straight away Okay, so we're moving through, uh, open a laboratories clinic. Hmm. And I'm kind of tempted that we, that we expanded on that side so that we, but yeah, so see, we're, we're running a little behind what we need to do over here instead. And having just this one row of stuff in the corridors, uh, I'm not sure it's going to work. But the laboratories clinic is going to obviously be um, a requirement pretty quickly uh, but now this te technician here is not not doing much work while we're waiting but yeah that's good it's good we should be I'm assuming we're gonna get a get a can't can't finish the diagnosis piece here oh excellent insurance ca company can be contracted Okay, so let's go to insurance management. So we, we can just contract the first one, basically. Enable accepting patients. Oh, that's the uninsured. Oh, and... Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. I never thought we did that. So Cheapo Care is now available. So um, if we treat... Open a medical laboratories clinic, government grant, treat 10 patients a day, 30,000 government grant. So if bunch of grants coming in our way there's obviously other guys coming in here quick snap care and so on um, so cheapo care is ready for us what is our rating we'll have a like two star rating over here we're making a little bit of money but really our money is from grants what is this treated patients click open table treated patients but why is there so many 
Okay, we're actually running through them pretty quickly now. But yeah, the laboratories lab is the next thing that we need. Insurance company can be contracted, objective complete. Yes, we fixed that. Okay, I'm gonna try and make sure that we keep those messages at an all time low. I think this uh, hospital, we're gonna rejig uh, re stuff in the hospital um, a fair bit to ensure that we uh, continue to get the right stuff going on all the time. So let's just get our uh, our uh, medical laboratories piece over here. What does that uh, what does that entail? So we've got an area for a waiting room. That's not a problem. We need ah. So we may need. Ooh. Do we need all of these though? What is the? None of these are required. We need a waiting room and we need a hematology lab. So so basically we're going to have a strip of labs all the way down here maybe. Well, let's get started. Let's get started. If we have a look at the prefabs, though, if we have a look at the prefabs, there should be ah here. So six six by four cleaning closet, common room, hematology eight by six, which I believe should be fine as is. How does that look, though? Wow, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, these labs are pretty cool. And what does this lab cost? 25,000. My goodness. So if we turn that. Yeah, it's not quite working with what we've got set up over here. No, we're not going to do that. But anyway, just a good idea to see how how that that looks and feels. How did the um, x-ray room look like? Yeah, we're pretty similar to what, what was done with the x-ray room pretty similar okay um, okay so let's get the hermatology lab going on not the prefab though um, so let's get um, we need uh, foundation first so we'll go with seven by seven maybe yeah let's do that let's start with seven by seven we'll get the wall going on the labs whew, now we've got Let's go with black for the labs though. Internally we'll go maybe maybe something like this. Oh, that's an exterior. Color tiles and white walls. So let's do a little something like that and like that. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I'm I'm quite happy with that. Uh, we can make changes to color schemes and things like that a little bit later. Uh, we'll get some doors over here. They use double doors. I think that's probably about right. So if we double door it, um, maybe that's not quite a requirement. Let's get the glass doors and we'll just do the one, the one. Oh, well, we can do double glass doors. Okay, double glass doors over there. Um, and let's go back to this, please. And so we say the hermatology lab is in here so they will tell us what kind of missing equipment we need to to grab in there so obviously we need some lab desks uh, and I'm tempted to to squeeze in a couple of them like straight over there uh, what else do we need we need some some equipment some shelves lab shelf yeah absolutely let's grab um, some lab shelf equipment pieces like that. We need a sample storage. We'll do that one over there. We'll need some stools. And I'm thinking the black color is, is a good idea. We'll do that. We need some PCs. So we'll grab a PC over there and over there. So we can at least have two of them. Um, there's a paper tray that's required. We'll get one over there. There's some glassware um, that's required. We'll grab that one over there. A lab sink um, over there probably and then we need some other stuff but uh, firstly we'll need that I'm going to grab us yet another kind of a lab desk over here somewhere so if we do do that is there a small one that we can put in the middle there or what can we do 
Anyway, that's okay for now. Let's just grab these guys. One of these and one of these. They are pretty pricey. And then this one is, oh, also needs a bit of a, a desk to go on. Um, so maybe we'll just do yet another lab table. Doesn't like it if we put it over there. So we'll just do that one. Actually, let's move it. Can I go ahead and grab just the thing that's on top? Honestly, how come? Okay, fine. It's just going to be like that and we'll get another stool um, to go in, in, in there. Yeah? No? Maybe? We'll see. Okay. Uh, it's not great. It's, honestly, it's not great. So let's uh, grab a bit of a pumpkin plant right there next to it. It's just going to look a little cooler. Um, we'll grab some of this. We'll get um, maybe a coffee mug somewhere, some files. There we go, some files over there. Um, put some posters up here, veins. Not sure veins does anything for us. But anyway, that's gonna be okay for that. Uh, let's get some flooring in there. We're going with the black flooring, probably white. Oh, let's, let's do that one. There we go, so that's the laboratory. Um, we'll go in here straight away and we'll make sure that we assign um, someone to come and work it. A technologist, advanced biochemistry seems to be a good thing to have. Uh, absolutely. So biochemistry and advanced biochemistry um, increases the effectiveness of the laboratory test. So we'll grab um, Fraser over here. He's going to start working the lab for us. And I believe that means we should... Oh, we need a waiting room. <coughs> can't open unless we have a waiting room so let's go and get the standard white flooring for that section over there we'll go ahead and say buddies we need a waiting room please um, please come and wait over there oh my goodness very very much money over there for us um, okay let's get we need equipment so we need something like chairs for instance and it's still just gonna be the red chairs so we'll just do a double chair over there a double chair over there. Uh, we want to add a decal as well. Give me my lab decal, please. Like so. Thank you. So now we have the laboratory and we're making tons of cash. So uh, from grants predominantly. We are getting through the day with really very little people waiting here. But we do need a common room. Um, that's the one thing that I'm that I'm quite worried about that we don't have. So um, I'll go ahead and put the common room in there. So the common room will have this kind of flooring, light panels. So we'll do a little, maybe something like that, like so. And then we'll need the external red, red one for the outside. Perfect, so something like that for the common room. Uh, we could have doors on both sides. Um, so we'll just say restricted area there and there so that they can actually walk through there if they wanted to. Then this is going to be the emergency department's common room, like so. People should be a little happier once we have that. Now, if we go here, what do we kind of need? We get a couple of sofas in there. So something like that is, is a good idea. We'll get the coffee table in the middle and we'll provide a bit of a a bit of a oh it doesn't it doesn't go on there um, that's fine we'll get to put a plant on there instead <clears throat> I want to do the cabinets so we'll we'll run a few cabinets um, over here and we'll put a whoa coffee vending machine uh, ooh, what I wanted to do was get a vending machine over here um, for these guys yeah I think that's that's a good spot vending machine out there for for people in the reception and that's waiting um, okay we wanted more equipment here though a coffee vending machine can't we just give them oh, a kitchen sink so we'll grab them a kitchen sink over there is there like a fridge yeah there's a fridge over there next to it we only have the coffee vending machine oh no no there's the coffee machine coffee machine over there 
we need a bit of a maybe a bit of a table okay we'll get some fancy chairs over here we'll go with the uh, the black color for the chairs okay so there's some all kinds of stuff there we need a bit of a water cooler thing right there I like that that setup is gonna work we can put some lockers in actually there's a bit of room there for a locker or two um, and then there's gonna be oh so we do need something the radio doesn't want to go on there though maybe if we do this right give a little bit of room there the radio should be able to be accessible like that that should be good grab ourselves a bookcase um, for this area right next to the fridge there so that should be pretty cool let's uh, grab ourselves a couple of things maybe like a flower over there oh that's awesome <clears throat> we need a notice board I feel oh yeah that spot there is gonna be good notice board right there um, clock so these guys don't just uh, sit there for ages and ages and we've got we don't have room for really anything much else we'll get a we can put a lamp or files or yeah we don't need any of the other bits and pieces though is there anything else we could need in here now nah, I think that's okay so let's get our flooring in place I'm gonna go with the um, this light light flooring like so uh, we'll do this direction there we go staff room available now let's get the white flooring so we actually extend our little corridor um, on both sides a little bit and oops wrong button and there we go game mode on so hopefully now staff will be a little happier um, that they've got a common room to go and hang out in I like it Completing objectives as we go. Open the clinic at uh, at any specialized department. Okay, I think that's a little bit more intensive for us to go get into. But it's something we will have to get into in the next episode. So now we go. The clinic is working pretty well. We're not getting tons of people through there just yet. But it's uh, I'm thinking we're going to quite easily handle 10 patients a day and get a pretty decent grant so that we can start going on the next stuff okay more patients arriving excellent 10 patients treated and an extra piece of grant going on over there guys that's going to be the end of this episode thank you so much for watching um i will see you in the next one please leave your comments down below if you've got some ideas and suggestions for us come and join us on the discord to uh, continue the discussion after the show and uh, yeah i'll see you next time Bye bye